I'm Janella Massa outside the Mod Club. Just minutes after the clock has struck 12 and marijuana is officially legal, at least in the Eastern time zone. And tonight a party was hosted by Leafly. They're a marijuana information company. It was hosted inside uh, this venue. It was a concert. The bud dropped, much like on New Year's Eve where a ball drops. Uh, the bud dropped at midnight, but technically no one is allowed to smoke inside. That's because Ontario laws uh, stipulate that cannabis rules will mirror uh, cigarette rules, which means that people cannot smoke inside. So even though this was a cannabis countdown party, only a couple of people breaking the rules inside, and most of them were told by security that they had to come out here. Uh, I will say it's not too crazy out here on the streets. A couple of people sparking up. Uh, I don't want to breathe in too hard because I am working. So you know, uh, you know, folks here are celebrating and marking this milestone. Now, I should also point out that here in Ontario, anyone who is smoking any product is technically not smoking anything legal because right now the only legal product is sold by the province. The Ontario Cannabis Store's website is now live, but ordering online, it'll take you at least three days to get it. Private sa sales will be allowed next year, spring of 2019. So still lots of questions about how marijuana legalization will be uh, uh, policed, how it will be enforced. Uh, some of these folks may Maybe going to be heading home, driving home, heading to work. All of those questions still remain, but tonight a celebratory atmosphere on this historic moment in Canada's history. 95 years of prohibition has ended. In Toronto, Janella Massa, City News.